Oh hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today I am doing a full face of makeup in Rimmel London Cosmetics. I got a super great deal when I was out shopping today with some really awesome cash back. So if you want to see what I use to do this full face that costs less than $40, make sure to stay tuned. Within this bag, I have a full face of makeup from Rimmel Cosmetics. So I went to um, the wall, Walmart, for grocery shopping today. I'll stop crinkling the bag. And I was using Ibotta because that's what I do. I'm not like a clipper of coupons. I like to use the Ibotta app. And I've recently found out that they have like a really good beauty and personal care section. So I got all of this for two dollars off each item so i got ended up with like something like almost twenty dollars cash back so yay so i thought that would be a really good opportunity to do a rimmel full face of makeup i got the stay matte foundation in the shade true beige i grabbed the stay matte powder because i kind of wanted to try the full line together not that i need matte but um i don't know it just all went together so that means i got the stay matte concealer and then I also got the um, Kate Coral Glow, they're calling it a sculpting palette, um, but it's a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush, and I guess it was in collaboration with Kate Moss. Um, I got the Magnify's Nude Edition palette, which I have been looking for just like a nice nude palette, so I think this will be a nice one. Um, I grabbed an eyebrow gel. I grabbed a mascara and liner combo, and then finally a Stay Satin Liquid Lip Color. So of all of these items, this was the most expensive at $7.95, and um, I think everything else was either $4.95, um, yeah, $4.95 or $3 something. So with $2 off of each item, this was a really inexpensive haul. Yay! So let's get started. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. It is a liquid mousse foundation um, with lightweight shine control. It gives feather light liquid mousse blends flawlessly for natural looking all day shine control. Silky smooth formula, formula leaves a perfectly matte baby soft finish. Lightweight texture won't feel heavy or greasy. So let's just see how we do. Oh, it is. It's a very like moussey formula. I need to clean my foundation plate. That is clear. Um, I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics foundation brush that is clean. I just washed it last night. And oh, it's thick. Let's see how it goes coverage wise. Okay, this is very good coverage. I will say I still have quite a bit left right here, um, and I did not squeeze much out at all. The shade is quite a few shades too dark, and as it's drying down, it's getting a little bit darker, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, this is way too dark for me. I mean, it looks okay, but it just, it doesn't match. Um, but I would say it feels nice actually so far. The coverage is very good. A little bit goes a long way and putting it on with a brush was great. There's no streak marks and it really covered my red very well. Um, yeah, I might actually really be liking this one and for something that's about five bucks, not bad. I did not use a primer, so this is, because I wanted to just see how it does on its own. Um, so far, so good. Okay, so next is the Stay Matte Con Stay Matte Concealer in the shade Ivory. It says this long wear formula conceals and hides dark circles and imperfections while controlling shine for up to 24 hours. This one was just about the same price as the foundation was. So let's see. So it's got just a typical doe foot. Yeah. 
it's not scented, which I really appreciate in face products because I hate smelling my face all day long. Oh. I just went straight into my eyeball. put concealer directly into my eye so that did not feel great but the concealer itself looks pretty nice um, yeah it doesn't appear to be crinkling up in my under eyes which happens a lot because you know I'm old I've got creases under my eyes it seems to be doing pretty okay but I am gonna set it so I'm gonna grab my powder and set under my under eyes okay that's on and done and I like it it feels pretty silky which I appreciate and it's also actually transparent I mean I can't tell you how many times I've gotten a transparent powder that actually makes it yellow and I don't want it yellow like you could see the yellow on my face so this one not bad for eyes today this is the magnifies nude edition one thing I don't love about this packaging is it's not sealed so like this didn't have the little sticker on it so a lot of grubby little fingers could have been in there. I did look and make sure I got one that hasn't been touched but I'm like these don't have a seal on them. Like clearly these do but even the lip products don't so um, eh. I don't love that part is what we'll say. So this palette comes with a little eye brush and it's got a spongy end and a teeny tiny little weird brush so I'm probably not going to use that one. Um, this is pretty. It's a nice collection of shades here and I like on these a lot of more high-end stuff doesn't have this but it's got a little instruction on like different looks you can do with it looks like there's a nice mix of shimmers and mattes I am gonna start with this shade right here as my transition shade and using the old Alamar fluffery brush I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with just this matte so far. All right, next I'm going to go down to this end with this kind of chocolatey brown matte shade and I'm just going to kind of pack that on the corners here. Right, this pink color here is kind of calling to me so I'm going to grab a little bit of a smaller brush. This is a Luxie mini angled brush. This little tiny brush set is so awesome. It's so good for just like getting into corners and little edges. I think four brushes came in it and I might want to get another one for myself. But I'm just going to use this little pink one and this brush here and see how it does. I have to say I am a bit stunned that color just using a little bit of spray on my brush it magnified it times 10 it was very soft and pretty before but using just a little bit of um, fix plus was like poo. so wow right, next I'm gonna grab this tapered brush and just the teeniest little bit of this darkest shade here for a final little bit of definition on the edges
I love little sets like this. I think it's just fun. I feel like it's extra value. And this is a really fat mascara tube, which I don't know why, but I really love when I get like a chubby tube. I'm a chubby tube chaser. I just put on the liner. I don't do pencil liner that often, so I'm not very good at it, but this is kind of as good as it gets. As far as the liner itself, it's nice and glidey and it's very black, so I like it, but I just, I don't use a pencil liner that often because I have such limited lid space that I need something very fine and precise like a pen. So let's try this mascara. This is the Scandalize Curve Alert Mascara in the shade black, and it is a Defy Gravity Brush and Volumizing Formula Plump and lift every lash, no clumps. We'll see about that. Ugh. Oh my gosh, look at that brush. It is huge. That is a big, fat, curved brush. Yowza. All right, here we go. I'm gonna stop at three layers of uh, mascara. It's not doing much. Um, like this is three layers. It looks fine. I love the brush. It's huge and soft, but I feel like I'm not getting much. So I'm gonna actually let this kind of chill out for a little bit, like a day or two, and then try it again because sometimes mascara is just don't do so great fresh out of the bottle so I don't love giving a first impression on a mascara like I loved better than sex the first time I tried it and then I don't like it so we'll see how this one does I'll try it again but I love the brush the brush feels so good yeah it just it didn't do much for my lashes okay so I grabbed the brow this way brow gel in the shade medium brown it was they had clear this or black and I know black is too dark um, and I forgot to grab a pencil so I'm gonna do just a quick pencil in and then we'll try this one looks a little bit light but it's got a little tiny spoolie guy like this um, and it says it's got argan oil in it it says this gel formula sculpts and defines brows smooths conditions and softens all right let's try it out Okay, um, I'm not mad at this. I think it's nice. It's very wet when you put it on, but it doesn't feel crunchy once it dries down and it doesn't, you know, it's not hard feeling. So um, I think I might like this one. I thought it was gonna be a bit too light, but I think it looks pretty good. Let's finish the rest of the face. I will be using this little kit here. It is called, it is the shade Coral Glow in the Kate Moss something little kit here. So it opens up this way, which I was definitely struggling with. Um, we're gonna start with this contour shade here. And for lips, I will be using the Stay Satin Liquid Lip Color in the shade It Girl. Let's 
let's see what this applicator looks like. Oh, okay. It's like a tapered. Dope. This smells bad. Um, it smells like melted plastic. So I don't like that at all. Um, formula wise, it feels fine. Um, it's not transfer proof, so it's not one of those type of liquid lipsticks. Um, it feels fine. It went on very easily. I'd say the color is nice and pigmented, but it stinks. So, um, I, yeah, I don't know about that, but you know, for a five dollar liquid lip, it looks nice. Uh, okay, so that is everything I got that was Rimmel for today. Let's do a little bit of hits and misses. Misses, definitely this. Um, it looks fine. I just I can't get over how it smells. The mascara, I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, I'll give it another couple of chances. The foundation and concealer, I'm going to say these are a hit. You didn't need much product at all to cover your whole face and the coverage is very nice. Um, it is getting a little creasy in my forehead creases, but just like a little bit. Um, other than that, it's not... Smile lines are fine and um, the under eye coverage I think is nice. So for a really inexpensive foundation, I'd say these might be a good chance, especially if you can like get extra money off. All right, so other face products, this powder is nice. It's, um, you know, for an inexpensive powder, I'd say this is definitely a good one. It feels good under my eyes. It feels like really, you know, nice and satiny um, and it's a true translucent, which is great. The contour kit is, Nice. I mean, for travel, this could be very useful. The blush is really nice and subtle. The highlight is really like nothing to write home about, but it's fine. Um, so if you need something quick to like throw in a bag for travel, this might be a good option. And lastly, this palette. This palette, I really like it. I have been on the lookout for a nice neutral nudes palette, and I think this might be it. And you know what? It's actually a pretty decent dupe for the Naked 2 palette. There's a lot of very, very similar shades. Um, this one, if you saw my video when I tried this again, I liked it, but there was too many shimmers. This one has a similar shade range, but more mattes in it, and they go on very, very, very nicely. And this is $7. This is $42, right? $35, $42? I can't remember. Um, this one is good. I like it. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you liked me trying out a whole bunch of Rimmel London products. I have to say, this palette is like the standout winner for me. I really, really like it. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I'll love you forever. All right, have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.